Hi everyone, this is Lisa from K9 Clips and this is Pebble and Pebble has come in for her full groom today and I will be showing you that and uh, she is going to be getting a three quarter inch blade cut on the body so it keeps her a little bit longer, a little bit fluffier and uh, I'll be cleaning her up so hope you enjoyed the video and if you do enjoy the video please uh, subscribe and check out my channel I'd really appreciate that I have lots of videos of a variety of dog breeds that I've done um, on there for you and these are just the dogs that come through my um, dog grooming business on a regular basis as I do it full time from my home so hopefully you like that and you can always comment if you'd like to see something specific as well yeah she's pretty relaxed she just laid down here I'm gonna raise her up a little bit so right now I just have her head resting on my hand just so I still have some control um, when I'm um, trimming around her face and stuff, you can kind of maneuver her a little bit. But she definitely knows why she's here. Because I am trimming her body a longer cut, I'm going to also make sure oh, also I keep her face a little bit longer so that it kind of looks more natural. But I always do trim around the eyes a little bit shorter because that's where that um, the tearing likes to stick to and staining. So I'll always trim that a little bit shorter. And I don't like to use any restraints when I grew. It's all just maneuvers with my hands and uh, holding techniques. That way the dog can kind of move around if they need to, if they're a little bit stressed or if they're relaxed, they can also lay down and they don't have to get stressed or any more stressed, I guess. Because even though she's uh, Pretty relaxed, I'm pretty sure she'd rather be somewhere else. Unfortunately, I'm not their favorite person. But they do tolerate me, thankfully. Most of the time, I have some that are a little more resistant. But uh, thankfully, there's more that are like Pebble here. And just let me do my thing so they can get going too. Since I have her down here and she's so relaxed, I'm just going to pluck out her ear. So I did trim all the way around up to the ear canal. And then inside the ear canal, there's a different type of fur that you can pluck out. And that just keeps the ears nice and clean. Yeah, there's not very much hair in her ears. Here, I'll put it against that so you can see. <laughs> Yeah, that's your hair. That's your hair. And then I'm going to trim around this ear. As well. And pluck this hair out. Her ears are nice and healthy. They've just got a little bit of pink to them, but um, once I get all this hair out, that should uh, come down in color to a more natural, lighter color. Get rid of that pink tones. That's a good girl. And there we go, and there's that one there. Good girl. Okay, so I'll just do a little bit on the top of her head. Okay, so 
I'm going to start on her feet now. The feet usually get quite a bit of hair in them, as you can see. So I like to trim all that out of there. And once we're done that, we'll trim up the nails. Get that out. And because I'm going to again be doing the body longer, I don't want to go round it. I just want to kind of or do round it. I don't want to go real short. I just want to kind of keep some length in that area so that um, when the other hair comes down, it's not uh, really short feet. They'll kind of blend, but it still is shorter. So they stay nice and clean, but you don't want to have them too short. Otherwise, they'll look, um, could look funny with the other hair being nice and long. All right, a good girl. Okay, now we're on to the front one. I always try to pay attention to where the camera is, but uh, sometimes I forget to check it, so I apologize in advance if you get a good view of my shoulder or the bottom of their head or something. Pretty relaxed and very nice to groom, I can say. Had a couple difficult dogs the last few days, so check that out on the channel. Couple senior dogs, when they get a little older, sometimes they kind of act like little puppies where they kind of walk all over the table or don't like me touching their feet or don't like me doing their ears. So they give me a little bit of a workout, that's for sure. So it is nice to get these dogs in between too. Okay. Nails are a little bit long, but still very healthy. They might be a little bit sore. There you go. Okay, so I'm going to switch sides. Okay, got to do this one. Oh, yeah. Nice view of my chin there. You can see all the hair in there, so that's what I am going to get out. I do use the scissors to get in there. I usually wear a mask, but I forgot to put it on. It's just there's a whole bunch of little hairs as I'm trimming here flying around. So they get on your face, around your nose and stuff, and it's a little annoying, so... I will remember. 
remember to put my mask on for the next dog. Just those little hairs in there. Um, I've been doing it so long that I always think of, well, if you're breathing it in for how many years, you know, just good to protect your lungs too. Even though you can't see the fine hairs, they're out there. I can definitely feel them. And then I can always come back to layer it more um, once I do the body. So I just kind of want to blend them nice. Okay. Okay, here we go. Okay, so now I'm going to comb out her tail. trim around her bum area and do her ears as well before I get her in the tub. Stand up. So again I want the bum nice and Clean, but I also want to leave a little bit of length on there because um, it would look kind of funny if the bum was all shaved up with her long fur, right? So you can see there's a little bit stuck there. So I'm just going to trim that shorter because obviously that's prone for stuff to be sticking to it. And just kind of fluff this out. And then I will... Um, blend them more after I use the clippers. This just gives me a little bit of a clean area to work with. I'll do the same for the legs on the inside since she's staying so nice. Just 
around where she pees, I'm going to be using the clippers because it's safer than using the scissors. I'll be using a number seven in that area. All right, and we are ready for the bath. All right, so I did run and get my mask in there. I paused it there. Just the hair was getting too itchy for me. But I will speak up because I know wearing a mask it may muffle my voice. All right, there we go.
sure there's no residue from the or soap residue left over in your shampoo. There we go. Let's get our shake going. I gotta grab a towel. There we go. All right, we're moving back to the table. Okay, now I'll do a blow dry. <laughs> Look at her little face. She's so cute. three-quarter inch blade now and we'll get started on the body <clears throat> a little mat there but it should come out yeah I was just catching a little bit on some mats I'll just kind of help it out there. Oh, I have to comb that one out. Just one here and there, which I think actually is some food. So 
just enough to prevent my clippers from getting in there. As long as it's just a random one, it's okay, but if there were a lot, I'd have to go to the next clipper down. And when I'm underneath the belly here, because the clipper is so long, I have to use this other hand to kind of pull this fur out. Just a little grab it. Same around the front of the legs and the back. Just with the longer clipper blades, they don't uh, get all the curves and stuff of the dog's legs. Makes it a little hard for it to grab it. And usually I'll have to finish the legs with scissors in some areas as well, just because. Even around the neck here, it's really tight in there. Like for the dog to stretch its neck out with these clippers. So I usually have to come back with the scissors and tidy those up. some of this right now with the scissors. I'm going to layer it downwards just because I can't get in there. I'll take a little bit of it out right now. There we go. And just right behind the armpit too. There's a little bit of a mat there as well. Just random little mats here and there. It's just a little one, just enough to interrupt the clipper. Well, luckily they're just small, so they won't affect how the end result looks. I'm going to add some clipper oil, though.
scissors again on this side. Okay, that gets the majority of everything off. So now what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to take her off to the table so I can clean it. And then I'm going to uh, give her another quick blow dry. That'll kind of bring up everything and uh, let me see what I missed and then I can finish up with the clippers most likely more with the scissors though um, I don't know why there's that neck again I am also do that now it's always hard to get in there with those clippers and then I'll blend everything together around the bum area and stuff and anywhere that those clippers can't get to And then I will also, at the end of the blow dry, I'm going to take off her um, um, hood here, I guess. And then I'll kind of blow dry her ears, if she'll let me kind of thing, as much as I can. Predominantly dry now. And so now I'm just gonna use the scissors to clean up everything to kind of blend it. And of course, you're never gonna get it always perfect, but it's nice to always try. Get it as even as you can. Okay. Oh, sorry. I'm 
just trimming around her back leg there. When you're using the three quarter inch blade, you can't, uh, you always gotta generally finish with the scissors because the blade can't get everywhere. On these smaller guys, you usually gotta combine it with the scissors to really give it that finished look. Otherwise you'll have lots of you know, little long hair sticking out like that just because the clipper blade can't get there. Just with all these curves and stuff on the body. Okay, good girl. We're getting there. Oh. Oh. <laughs> as soon as I put my hand under her head there, she wants to lay. There you go. Okay, so I'm just going to check out the bum area again. All right. I think 
we're just about done here. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, like I said, you can check out many more on my channel of a variety of dogs that I've groomed and uh, the different lengths and different cuts I've given, all the different breeds as well. So thanks for taking the time to watch. I'm just going to finish up here by seeing if I missed any here and there. I'll give her another quick little blow dry and uh, then just finish up anything. But I think I've pretty much got it all done. Um, but I hope you enjoy it. So thanks for taking the time to watch. I um, hope you check out my channel and subscribe. And I hope you have a great day. See you again.